I was just desperate, and I didn't, I couldn't face things that had come up. So I thought the easy way out was to take pills, and it would be all over. It's been really intense this week. I don't like to be reminded of it. You don't, eh? No. I have a trip to New York City. Two days. All that interests me is sitting outside and looking out at the view and sitting as I try to put the belief in or, or try to take into grasp or whatever, however you want to say it. Try to think of my goal of, you know, in 10 years moving out to the city and pursuing musical theater. I mean, not guaranteeing anything because things change, especially, you know. As a teenager, you might think of your life going in a completely different direction that may go, you know, just as you might have thought things were going to be different when you were a kid. And then as a teen, you think of different things, you know, but as of right now, that's the goal. It's really difficult to keep having faith in myself. I mean, I think anything's possible. Like, I think I'm going to do it. Like, I, I, I have the belief that if I put my, if I believe it so much and I put in all the work necessary or more, there's no way I'm not gonna get there, but I haven't talked a lot about this, but I'm sure other creators have probably talked about it because it's a common thing, but um, I was diagnosed with a uh, major depressive disorder uh, some time ago. So it's like, it's new to me and I'm like learning how to cope with it or whatever. But yesterday was an intense day. I would think I'd just like to say like, it's YouTube is like the one thing I would, if I had to pick one thing, it would be like to be a YouTuber, but it's really, it's really intense. It gets really intense. And I think that is the part of hell that a person in depression really tastes. The hopelessness. The hopelessness, that terrible hopelessness. Like yesterday was a wild day and nothing even happened. Like if I were to vlog it, it's not like I went. People think about probably a wild day as like going to a party or whatever and getting lit. But a wild day for me as in like such intense emotion and feelings and it's just all in my head. I would describe depression as debilitating. There's, I mean, I have to deal with, you know, not feeling motivated and how are you going to I guess, accomplish your goals if you're not motivated to do them. For me, like being positive is not something I want to be. It's um, it's not worth it. Like I don't even want to hear myself talk. Like I don't even want to hear, I don't even want to see myself like edit this video because it's not entertaining enough or because I'm not happy and I'm talking slow and I'm talking low. But I, I'm excited to go and be out there and look out and try to dream and envision myself in the future. It's really, it's, it's really intense. At this point, I stopped editing the vlog. I just couldn't handle it anymore. And I'm not being dramatic. I just went to this other room and I, I while editing, I said I couldn't, I couldn't do this. I, I couldn't do this anymore. And, I came to this room thinking that is this even for me anymore and I just questioned everything and I and I s cried myself to sleep and um I woke up and it's uh now it's been I've slept for a few hours and it's now 2 a.m and I realized that I have to go back and edit this video because it doesn't matter how I feel I have to get a video out this coming Friday and then I have to get one ready for Monday. I'm not gonna be able to edit because I don't have a laptop. I have a desktop computer. Com uh, no regrets. No regrets on that decision. But I'm gonna be in New York in Thursday and Friday. At least that's the plan right now anyway. So because I'm not gonna have time, I'm gonna have to go back right now and finish this vlog because I need to get this video out regardless of how I feel. So it's 2 a.m. and I need to get this done. And today, maybe later on, I can sleep. But I need to get two vlogs done and ready today. There are no excuses. My life is war. I realized what I just made is probably too intense. What I didn't realize is I made that clip at the end without realizing that I was at the end of the whole project. Like, that was it. Like, that's there was nothing else to edit after that. I was done. So I just wanted to say that I make these types of vlogs sometimes, the depressing vlogs or whatever, because that's, for me, my outlet. So when I when I have those feelings of whatever, I feel like it's healthy to put, like some people put it into, I guess, weights, and some people put it into like 
art. Well, this is my art. My editing software, those are my tools, and it comes from me and I use the tools to create these videos and to put it out there. And hopefully the intention is like someone else who also might, might feel the same way can feel like they're not alone and they have something to relate to. I do like the idea of putting on like a smiley face or whatever and then giving you guys like a home, uh, like a happy place to go home thing. But the reality is that it's not really like, it's not real. Like if I'm not that, I don't want to portray that. Like maybe in the future it'll happen because I love the idea of like putting on a show for you guys so that you can feel happier in your life. And this is like an escape. But as it is right now, it's, it's difficult for me to put myself in that place because to me the authenticity and being real is the most important thing. Again, I could be one of those people that like fakes it or whatever because I have, I feel like I have a duty to be here to be that safe space for you. But I also need help. And this is me helping myself. This is me putting myself out there in a very vulnerable way. And I feel like this is healthy, completely healthy for me and healthy for the people who may feel like there's nobody else who feels that way. Maybe I was able to portray it in a way that they couldn't explain it to other people and in a way like it is hard to explain to other people and that's why I guess I make these these videos sometimes the way they are because it's easier to just put it together in 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 this way than to explain it because sometimes I don't know how to explain it I just know how to show it through a video I don't intend to like be that person to put down your day there are things you can do to make your day better make your life better and for me that just means like taking the most vulnerable intense moments and putting it and compiling it into this sometimes I call it art I guess this is kind of like my art yeah and this is just how I deal with it and I'm glad other people can watch and relate and have that safety blanket to know that they're not alone for you it might be going out to walk or playing video games or talking with friends or doing whatever it is that you have or, you know, do, doing whatever it is for you. There are things that you can do to improve your life. I believe that as long as you have breath in your body, you're able to improve your situation. And for me, this is just the way that I'm doing that for myself right now. Anyway, um, I'm probably gonna save this video for like maybe Monday, and then probably gonna work on the, Saturday, the Friday video, like now, because it's uh, 2.42 a.m. So, um, I think I'm going to go off on that note. Um, like to subscribe, post notifications and all that. And I'm, I'm glad to, to be here for you. And seriously, like, I, I truly believe that you are going to help you more than you're going to, you know, than you're going to know. Like, yeah, we can, we might need help from other people. Like I currently have a therapist, you know, so it's not all on me to try to fix everything for myself but at the same time it was my decision to get a therapist so in a way yeah it is it is kind of me helping me because i can quit i can quit therapy anytime and i i believe that the world probably is a, a better place for all of us as selfish as we may be i would think it's a happier place if all of us are happy because all if all of us are jerks there's going to be it's going to be a lot harder to, I think, live life. And especially, you know, um, especially with everything going on in the world, which there's always something going on in the world. I mean, we look back to any decade. There's always something going on in the world that you could be depressed about. But with everything going on in the world, or even in your world, I still think that it's best for all of us if you were to keep yourself happy. So please, I guess, just like look out for yourself. That's all I, I guess I got to say. All right. Peace.